Hello everyone and welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. In our today's chapter I will demonstrate how can we use um, the workbook before save event. What this event basically does is the moment you press Control S or you click on this key right here to save your workbook it runs a macro to make the necessary checks as per your requirements. So without wasting any time let's jump down to the developers tab and visual basic so to create this event you may want to jump down to this workbook by double clicking on it you would want to make sure that you have selected workbook in this drop down and then on the second drop down you may want to select before save which is right here now as a part of our demonstration what we will use as an example is that a user must enter all his details that includes his name, height, hobby and his nationality. Now if the user does not enter either of the, these, it shouldn't allow the user to save the workbook. So to start off with, we will want to define an integer and an object. So what we will do is we will run a loop to establish whether this was achieved. So I will set i as 1 since we are going to loop through columns and I would want to start with the first column which is column A. Um, we will assign my VB to this workbook dot sheets um, workbook before save dot cells which is um, this sheet right here. Now we will run a loop by saying do well my VB row number 2 comma i dot value does not equal to blank so we are saying loop from row 2 and column 1 keep going towards the right as long as the value is not blank let's say i equal to i plus 1 loop now once the loop ends if i if the loop reaches to column e that means the value of i will become 5 so if i equal to 5 then we would want to um, exit sub which means we would want to allow this workbook to be saved however if this condition is false then it will come down to end if which means we would um, we, will, we would like to fail this function and not allow the user to save the workbook so we would like to give a prompt please enter all the mandatory details and click on save will be critical now um, now as we can see what this is doing is first it's making the necessary checks by looping from row 2 and the first column it'll keep looping towards the right as long as there's no blank value the moment there's a blank value the loop will fail perhaps this condition right here will become false and we will not be able to save the workbook so let's test this out let's try and click on save and as you can see we are unable to save the workbook as it says please enter all the mandatory details and click on save let's try filling something and see if we can try and get away with that as we can see once again we are unable to save the workbook so let's try another field and let's try again and yet again we are not able to do so so let us now try filling each and everything and see if this thing works out well this time and um, as we can see we have been able to save our workbook without any problems so guys um, this is how pretty much um, a workbook before save event can be used in Excel VBA depending on your requirements to make the necessary checks before allowing the user to actually save the workbook so anyways guys thanks for watching hope this video was helpful and stay tuned for more videos take care